Welcome to How to Fest Daily. It's Saturday, the 22nd of January, and I am still Tabitha Jackson, director of the Sundance Film Festival, coming to you from New York City, the ancestral homeland of the Lenape. Today's theme is filmmaking as community. But first, a moment of gratitude for all our official Sundance Film Festival sponsors. We literally couldn't do this without you. So Acura, AMC Plus, Chase Sapphire, Adobe, and our beautiful host state of Utah. Thank you. All right, filmmaking as community. Rarely is making a film a solo endeavor. It takes a village to carry a vision and breathe life into it. We know how important interdependence is for our independence as creators. So how can you really benefit from the community that is here at Sundance? Today, I'm gonna to challenge you, especially the introverts, go and hang out in Film Party or New Frontier on the spaceship. Ask a question in our live Q and A's, or just turn up to a daily meetup with your fellow film lovers. Don't forget, your guiding principle for today is community. So, sun dancers, go forth and discover. Stay where you are, because next up, I'm joined in conversation by some fantastic filmmakers. Hello, and guess what? Or guess who I am convoicing with today? No other than the mighty Phyllis Nage. Well, thank you, Tabitha. And I do think I'm going to adopt the moniker, uh, the mighty Phyllis Nage. I think that's going to be my new name. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. So we are incredibly um, thrilled to have Cool Jane playing in our festival. And so let's talk about it. Firstly, what's the film, what's the film about and what drew you to make it? It's a film that asks questions about the nature of choice. What does choice mean? And what kind of control or agency do we as people, as women more specifically, have? The film is about the journey of a one woman, uh, Joy Griffin, played by Elizabeth Banks. Uh, it is set, it begins in 1968, Chicago. She is a woman who <clears throat> is a mother and um, who through the course of this film has to navigate some treacherous medical establishment water in order to find uh, an abortion that may or may not save her life. Okay. I sense the opportunity to meet the challenge of speaking to the non-converted in a way that was non-judgmental and, and for me always important is to have a healthy, um, an unexpected sense of humor about things. How would you like this film to meet the world or to be received by the world? Um, is it purely on artistic terms or is it grappling with a social issue as well? It's also, uh, you know, grappling with a social issue that's always been with us. One day, maybe, there will be some sort of cultural shift I'm not naive. I don't think the film can, or any film can necessarily um, change uh, a, the course of politics, but you never know. <laughs> it's not an instant, as you say, Phyllis, it's not a, a single film, is a, is a silver bullet that can move the needle on an issue, but this sharing of work and talking about it and inhabiting another perspective and having your perspective um, scene, I think can inform the culture. And I think that's why this film um, is such an important piece of work, both artistically and creatively um, and socially. So thank you for letting us show it. Today's theme is film as community. What does community mean to you? Community for me has always meant um, finding one's tribe, you know, 
uh, whether that is artistic, social, they tend to overlap. Um, and that once you build your community, whether it's made up of literal family or created family, we choose our own family sometimes, um, you will never feel unprotected in, in times like this. So finally, Phyllis, I want to know, what was the film that blew your mind? Don't overthink it, just the... Yeah, I mean, the film's easy. I mean, and it's always the same two, which I saw at around the same time in my life on a big screen, uh, Sunset Boulevard. And so there's always a reference to that movie in my movies, as there is, there are a few in Call Jane. Right? Hey, nice little Easter eggs, great. Yeah, little Easter eggs. And the other one is All That Jazz. <laughs> so uh, those two films absolutely blew my mind early on. Phyllis, thank you so much for sharing your work, for um, being such an incredible adapter of feelings into three-dimensional space. Let's try and uh, meet in three-dimensional space. Uh, your film, Cool Jane, of which you are director, starring Elizabeth Banks and a fantastic cast, is playing at the Sundance Film Festival. You can still catch it. Uh, beloved viewers and I really suggest that you do. Phyllis, thank you and enjoy the festival. Thank you so much Tabitha for having me. We are not an island. We're an unending archipelago. The living collective proof of all the choices those before us made. So why should things we birth be any different? To create is collaborative. Don't agree? Try multiplying by one. We work together toward a single vision. Even when we lose the forest for the trees. And is it really any wonder why? We are moved by the same events, compelled by the same drives. First as creators, then as the audience. From the very moment we act on an idea, it stops becoming ours and starts becoming everyone's. Think about it and get your mind right. This morning on How to Fest Daily, I'm so excited to be sitting down with Jennifer and Kevin McCoy, the creators of The Inside World. So, so Jennifer and Kevin, can you tell me, uh, tell us a little bit about The Inside World? The Inside World is uh, an emerging story space that has elements of gameplay, elements of the graphic novel, um, interactive elements, especially around crowdsourced um, storytelling. And the idea is, you know, we kind of introduce the bare bones of, you know, what would normally be a short story or a film. Um, and there's a, a kind of emerging storyline that we're going to hold to. But the fun thing about what we're doing is that if the audience takes it a different direction, we have plan A, plan B, plan C, and throw the whole book out the window and let's see what the community wants to do. What inspired you uh, to combine all of these elements to make this kind of world in this way? So the inside world at, 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 a level, at the level of narrative is about uh, the near future of Las Vegas and, and at a time when that city is so complicated and so corrupt maybe that uh, most you know, large sections of it have been handed over to different artificial intelligence systems to run and manage on behalf of the human, you know, of, of the people that are there. How do you collaborate with an AI writer? Yeah, I mean, there's a couple different um, different modalities that it, it, I mean, these things are developed to be sort of autonomous systems on websites, you know, you know, so for example, we have these attributes, um, you know, this sort of almost like a trading card of these characters, you know, like clever, sarcastic, occasionally makes off color jokes. And using just real language, you can train an AI to respond with those characteristics. So that if you ask a question like, tell me where you know to get good oysters in the city of Las Vegas, 
If you have sarcastic in there, it'll be like, like, that's a good idea, you know, and it, it could come up with something totally strange, you know. And for the, for the sake of our viewers who are not familiar with NFTs and, um, you know, just the density, trying to, you know, grasp what it is. Can you, uh, can you, can you, can you tell us about how uh, our audiences can participate in this? So there'll be a number of ways that people can participate. Um, and so we're doing this, as I mentioned, this kind of distribution phase, of distributing those cards. We're going to be doing a handful of giveaways during the course of the, of, of the festival. Uh, and so we'll be doing kind of basically drawing names from hats, uh, I guess, uh, virtually, digitally, uh, and, and, um, and, and awarding those to, to people. Um, and that might be an opportunity for people that haven't ever experienced this, you know, technology that, that don't have, you know, have never really acquired one before, maybe haven't set up a wallet, things like that. We're going to walk you through that whole process. What's so yeah. impressive about this project is that it's not just about the money. It's about really exploring, um, you know, uh, storytelling community and how that actually might invest more value in these collectibles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that that's really true, you know, because of the um, kind of ownership nature of NFTs, you know, that they can be uniquely owned. Um, that puts a different kind of investiture i guess or investment or connection um you know that an audience member might make or a fan might make or a participant might make you know there the 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 sheer the number of stills of the different nfts it was so hard to choose one i mean they're they're they're, they're amazing looking um and i know you're going to be giving a, a going to do the giveaway later today can you say uh, how our audiences can participate in the giveaway Yes, you just have to fill out a registration form, which, you know, will be advertised on the Sundance portal on our site. Um, and, you know, if you just have an email address, we will contact the winners and help you figure out your wallet. Um, and if you have a wallet, then you, you know, we'll just ask you the address and send you the work. Um, and what we're innovating for the um, for the, the the website is we really wanted a way that people could see all the graphics. And so it's a little bit like a slot machine. You can keep hitting go and 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 just watching all of the permutations of this world cycle through. Uh, so the programming for that is pretty interesting. And the slot machine metaphor made complete sense for you know what we'd like to do. Thank you to both so much for sitting down with me. Uh, and 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 opening up and letting us see under the hood of the inside world. Uh, oh, thanks for having us. Yeah, super fun. What should I do today? Did I hear you ask? I've got a list of things. Here we go. Firstly, you should see some films. You could see We Need to Talk About Cosby, which is an incredible series by W. Kamau Bell. You could see Good Luck to You, Leo Grand, starring Dame Emma Thompson. Um, directed by Sophie, Sophie Hyde, sorry, Sophie. Um, Sharp Stick, Lena Dunham's second film after Tiny Furniture. Can't wait to see that one. And I've already seen it, obviously. Uh, and Lucy and Desi, Amy Poehler's directorial debut. Um, Andrew Seaman's Resurrection is also pre premiering today, along with Framing Agnes. Beautiful, beautiful film by Chase Joint very formally um, inventive, I would say. Uh, and The Cathedral by Ricky D'Ambrose. That's having its world premiere today. And You Won't Be Alone, highly anticipated by Joran Stalewski. Um, But what if you don't want to see a film? You could go beyond film. We have our first cinema cafe today with Karen Gillan and Dame Emma Thompson talking to each other. Um, that's going to be fun. And also the big conversation, our first one of those, called Acoustic Range, chocked full of composers talking about their practice, darlings. Um, now in the Festival Village, Luminate are going to be reimagining democracy through film. Glad are going to be asking who tells our stories. Um, a fascinating panel on BIPOC deaf creators reframing the narrative, which I want to attend, and Sundance Music Cafe with ooh, some delicious slices of talent in that one. Um, and then of course, New Frontier, go and socialize, go and experience the incredible New Frontier lineup, which is rather wonderful. Um, and I think they've got, yeah, Web 3.0 NFT meetups, 
Sounds intriguing, probably is. Um, in the meantime, sun dancers, go forth and discover. You're watching How to Fest Daily for the latest buzz in what's happening at Sundance.